Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be on planet Earth. Good day, hello, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die and something brand spanking new for this channel at the very least. Today we are going to be diving in to a mod called the Winchester. Uh, this was made by a gentleman called Wookie Nookie, who some of you may know has been around the Seven Days to Die modding community for a very, very, very long time. There will be a link to, um, to, to this mod in the description down below. Um, make sure you check it out. It's not available as of the time of recording. This mod is not available on the mod launcher, so you will need to install it manually. Um, However, if you're unsure of how to install mods manually, there are a number of videos available on YouTube that will tell you how to do that. But it's essentially very, very easy. Um, you need a mods folder in your Root 7 Days to Die folder. You download the files, you unzip the files, you drop them into the mods folder, you start your game, and boom, away you go. Right, we're going to go through a couple of changes before we get started. Um, a couple of uh, a couple of things that we're going to we're going to discuss before we begin. We are playing on Warrior difficulty, which um, if any of you have played this mod before or have played a mod like Romero or played a mod where you have a number of large wandering hordes appearing at any given time, you will know that Warrior difficulty is not to be sniffed at. Um, our other thing we are going to have the zombie feral sense on all the time, which means we are going to be pulling zombies in left, right and centre. We, I've been asked by a community member, I've been asked by a guy called Jags to play this on Jog as well. It should make it a little more interesting okay and then the other the other part the thing we're going to do we've also got 64 enemies for the blood moon everything else set to default we're going to have our airdrops marked so we know where they are and um, that's going to be important later on as we'll discuss and then the other the other extra tab you get as part of the winchester mod is there is the settings for the mini mod itself and we are going with a maxed out 125 so, well it's not maxed out maxed out is 200 but my rig can't handle 200 it's going to be laggy enough as it is so we're going with 125 zombies i have done some fairly extensive testing on this to find out what the best balance of um of these settings are and this is the best balance of the settings so we've got max zombies of 125 which is the number of zombies on the entire map at any given time we've got a city zombie multiplier of times four which says there how many extra Zeds to spawn in cities for each POI X extra zombies will spawn? I.e., if two POIs and multiplier set to five, it will spawn ten. So if you've got large cities, you get lots of zombies, basically. The respawn delay is set to 10%, which is the lowest time that we can set for the zombies to respawn, which means we should get lots of zombies all the time. Um, headshot only, I've turned that off. Now, the reason I've turned that off is because AOE damage doesn't work when you have headshots turned on. Um, so if you're a player who likes to snipe, who likes to use bows, crossbows, rifles, and um, likes to go for headshots all the time, the headshot only option, it does work. I just choose not to use it because it does make Molotovs, etc., um, ineffective. So I leave that off. We leave the zombie rage on, so they can enrage and they can charge us if they if, if they so choose. Our wandering horde frequency is also set to the minimum as well, so it can happen occur any time between two to fourteen hours. That's two to fourteen in game hours not IRL hours so that's the most frequent we can have a wandering horde and the wandering horde multiplies the number of zombies that spawn per horde at times four which again is I'm not the maximum times five is the max but it's about the, the limit that my rig can handle so that's that's the settings we're going with we're going to start this off right now I've generated a brand new map we've got a couple of extra mods that I've used to generate the map as well um, I've downloaded some walking dead POIs from Nexus mods um, and a couple of those I have edited the XMLs to make sure that the, 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 the random world generator will place them on the map correctly. Um, it also removes, there is a, the, the Walking Dead Hospital is on the map, which is, in my opinion, incorrectly tagged as a trader location. Um, it shouldn't be tagged as a trader location, so I've removed the trader tag from that. It should now be a lootable and questable location. So I believe we've got um, the CDC, we've got the hospital, we've got the prison, we've got Herschel's farm, and we've got Hilltop. Um, there may be another one in there that I'm forgetting, I'm not entirely sure. Um, we're on a 6k map, um, and I've also used another mod called Improved RWG, or Improved Random World Gen, which basically gives you larger cities and it puts them closer together so you have a lot less open space on the map. So we're going to start this thing up, and we're going to get right into it, and we'll go through some of the details from within the mod as we go. 
All right, here we go. Standard starting screen, as uh, as you probably know. We're going to get ourselves started now. We're going to throw that away because we don't want it. We're going to put that up there, that up there. We're going to put the food up there as well. Uh, that goes in slot number six. That goes in slot number seven. And let's get our opening quest done. Um, it was mentioned um, by the uh, by the community, again, by the same community member, um, that we should play this without traders. But um, I've decided to play it with traders. Um, traders in the Winchester mod... They don't, um, they don't impact the game quite as much as they do in vanilla. Um, what Wookie has done is he's made it so your your your, your selling price at the trader is about the same as vanilla, but the purchase price is like double or triple. I don't remember the exact details, um, but it's really, really, really high. So traders, it's not going to be a case of we're going to go off, we're going to do jobs, we're going to come back to the trader, and we're going to buy up all their, we're going to buy up all their shit. Um, that's not going to happen because we're not going to be able to do that because it's going to take us a long time to earn enough money to do it. Now you can see there the big, um, the big random world generator is working. So we've got a little town over there. We've got towns over there. We've got towns over there. We yeah, we're we're absolutely surrounded by buildings here. This is a good thing. We want we want lots of buildings. We want lots of buildings because we want we want to be in danger. It needs to feel dangerous. One thing I've said about the um about the uh the vanilla game is that it does unfortunately for a game that relies on zombies as part of its uh as part of its core thing. Um, in vanilla, there does seem to be an awful lack of zombies. There don't seem to be very many. Um, even if uh, even if you set it to the max, um, you can go. You know, you could you can travel between cities, and you'll um, you'll only meet a half a dozen zombies. Or something. You, know, you don't you don't get huge wandering hordes, and that's what we want in a game in a game featuring zombies. We want lots and lots and lots and lots of zombies and that's hopefully what we're going to get right a couple of other details we're going to get to as well as part of the mod um we've got the return of action skills which means that everything that we craft is governed by our action skill and um, we cannot until we get item quality over 100 nothing can be repaired if it breaks it breaks for good we have to make another one or if it's something that we can't make we have to loot another one um, that's just the way it is with well, whatever item it is that we use we have to keep on using it until our skill in it becomes it gets to the point where we can craft item qualities over 100 the item qualities as you may have guessed from what i've just said um, have changed we don't just have item qualities of one to six now we have item qualities of one to 901 uh, hang on a minute, let's chop up some rocks. We're going to do a Thanos. We're going to use the stones to break the stones because we're going to need some of those to do the campfire bit in a minute to get this opening quest out of there. So yeah, action skills are uh, are huge in this. Um, I will say from pre previous experience, because I have played this mod something um, uh, uh, a little before, and until you can actually start um, looting, buying, or crafting... Um, guns and stuff it does make it very 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 difficult to be able to um to use guns and stuff in order to get your skills up so for for, for what i'm going to do it kind of it kind of limits where you want to put your opening perks um my opening perks will always go in strength um, specifically because the weapon we're going to be using almost ex oh of course yeah <laughs> not following my own advice you see what i mean we can't repair that uh, we've now got to craft another one. We need another stone axe for that. May there. See, that's a quality two now. The more we use this, the better the quality we get. Um, so yeah, where was I? I have completely forgotten the point I was just about to make. <laughs> oh yes, um, skill points wise. Yes, we are going to be focusing almost exclusively on the strength tree because our main weapon for most of the game is going to be a club. We're going to need to use a club. We'll probably use a knife as well, but for the most part, we're going to use a club, um, which means we're going to need the strength tree um, to make use of Pummel Peak, Sexual Tyrannosaurus,
um, and minor 69er as well. These are going to be our um, th these are going to be our opening skills. As we start getting other weapons and other tools and whatnot, we'll start leveling stuff up. That should be our crater just over there. Let's head over. Yeah, as we start getting other weapons and other tools and whatnot, we get settled in and we start getting looting and we, you know, we, we start getting we start getting shit done. We'll start diversifying our points a, a little bit more as well. Um, level up in this game as well. The XP gain, as I understand it, has been drastically reduced. So it does take a little while to level up. We can't pick that up. Right, we might as well go and loot this place. At least it's Hugh. Hugh's a good trader. Hugh's my favourite trader. Hugh, in my opinion, has the best trader compound in the game. Um, I know everybody's favourite trader is, is is normally Trader Gen. Um, don't get me wrong, I like a, I, I like a bit of Trader Gen as much as the next guy, but I will say that my favourite trader compound is definitely oh what a schematic right off the rip. Give me it. Let me have it. Yeah, Hugh is still Hugh is still my favourite. Um, now uh, more more details about the playthrough. We have also got, I believe I left the mod in there that was Trader's Dawn Till Dusk. So instead of having to wait until 6 o'clock in the morning to go and see the Trader, um, the Trader will open at 4.05 in the AM instead of 6.05. They'll still close at their normal time. Um, hours, of, hours of daylight are still um, 6 a.m. in the morning until 10 p.m. in the evening, and that will be the Trader's operating hours. That's what we've... Uh, that's what we've set up. That's what we've done. Uh, there's a couple of other features that we're going to go through in a minute as well. Once I actually get to the point where uh, construction tools, action skill points. Very nice. Red tea recipe. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, all right. Double barrel shotgun schematic. Bicycle chassis schematic. We're off to a pretty decent start here. All right. We've got any clothes that we can put on. All right. Padded gloves. That's what we're going to go for. We're going to be going for pad armor right off the rip as well. Not really that interesting. An oil recipe for Molotovs is going to be huge. We're going to be able to make oil. We're going to be able to gather oil. We're going to have to make a lot of Molotovs. Uh, SMG auto turret schematic. You know what? Sometimes I would sell that. Today I'm going to read it. Today I'm going to read it. Normally the uh, normally the opening part of um, of going through the uh, the trade compound is finding stuff to sell. But as I already said. Um, finding stuff to sell in this mod is not that important um, because Looking for something special. Yes, you. You're very special, my friend. Very, very, very special indeed. Yeah, going through the um, going through the trader compound and finding stuff to sell is not as important as it would necessarily be in vanilla. Cooking grill. Oh, if we could have found a cooking pot, I'd have been laughing. I'd have been laughing, bruh. Laughing, I tell you. Right, we can check the vending machine after. You never know. Toilet pistol would have been nice. I mean, we're, we're kind of we're kind of pushing our luck a little bit with the. Oh my days! <laughs> we got a cooking grill and the cooking pot right off the bat. That is amazing. Absolutely incredible. All right, we are massively over encumbered, so we're gonna have to go and find a place where we can go and dump some stuff. We, we can go and stash some stuff, but for now, we're gonna go pick up. We're gonna go and see what we can sell. Uh, what have we got that we absolutely don't want? Uh, bullet casings. All right, we got 15 bullet casings. We're not, you know what? We'll sell all of them. Oh really? Oh, he only buys them 10 at a time. Steel cut. Right, parts we're gonna sell. Um, do you know what? I'll sell the uh, I'll sell the suit pants because I'm not going to wear them. I could have scrapped them to cloth, but I didn't want to. Uh, there's not a whole lot else there that we can sell. We're going to have to go and Are gather up some cloth here? and stuff so we, or loot loot ourselves some good armor. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and find ourselves a nice, a relatively easy job, deal. and hopefully find ourselves a place that we can call home. Now, as we already discovered in the uh, I looted the forge, didn't I? I'm sure I did. I looted the forge, right? I looted the forge. Yeah, I looted the forge. I thought... Oh, I didn't go underneath. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've missed half a huge compound. I'm such a sausage. All right, let's go and do half a huge compound. Uh, usually there's nothing in this chest. It's usually empty. Today there's a nail 
in it. Another nail in my coffin. What do we got in here? Gunpowder and polymers. And what else can we find in the working stiff box? A hammer. That's got to be pretty big. There's nothing. There used to be another box up here, but there's not anymore, is there? No. Right. Okay, then first thing that we're going to want to loot, because it's going to be really hard for you guys to see when we go inside dark buildings, is we are going to need to, we're going to want to loot a headlamp mod. But what I am going to do, for the time being, while I'm not... As you can see, we are we are slightly cucumbered here. What we're going to do, we're going to craft this up our storage chest. We'll get this thing thrown down outside the trader. Dump, stash the entire inventory. And then we're going to work out exactly what it is that we can carry with us. Now, this one also comes, this mod also comes built in with lockable um, backpack slots. Um, but it's not lockable slots like Kane's lockable slots are. Um, this is a different sort of lockable slot. When you um, hover over each box and you press X, you get a little green box around the outside of it, which denotes that the thing is lockable. And that, that saves itself from playthrough to playthrough. So every time you come back and you, and you play this game, um, it will remember where your lockable slots were. Uh, we're going to take those as well. We're going to take the drink. We're going to take the food. You know, we don't want the food in our hot bar, though. Um, uh, we don't really... We may need a bandage. We may not need a bandage. I don't think we're going to need anything else just now. We're going to leave that as it is for now. We've no point in taking any ammo because um, we don't have any. And we've also got, as you may notice, we've got a slightly bigger backpack mod as well. Um, one other option that I want to cover as well as part of the mod. In the video options here, you get an extra tab here for the mini mod, which is really good. So you can tweak this to however you want it to be. Um, you can choose to show or hide the crosshair. You can choose to show or hide the activation text. You can cho choose to show or hide the on-screen sprites, i.e. the waypoints that you set for yourself. You can choose to show or hide the zombie health bar, the XP pop, the XP pop up, or the electrical wires. You know what I didn't do? I didn't even I didn't even put my freaking skill points in. I'm such an idiot. We're gonna have to get rid of this clown. We're going to have to get rid of this clown, and we're going to have to do our skill points, because we're going to have to face a lot of zombies if we're going anywhere near a city. See, look, they're all... The, I'm dragging them all to me now. That zombie feral sense. We're also going to have to find a gore pile as well, so we can make ourselves a knife, because the slow speed and the bleed on the knife will be handy. Let's just get a little distance here, and put some skill points in whilst we remember. Uh, right, what do we want? We want pummel Pete. We want... Sexy Rexy. We are also going to want Rule 1 Cardio. She's getting awfully close. Oh, my days. If you could if you could actually hit her, that would be great. Well done, Hells. It's a good job. You've only got to smack the zombie in the head. It's not that hard. They got a massive freaking lump on their shoulders and nearly got hit. We're out of stamina already. Yikes, he's mad as well. Oh, he's mad. 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 I don't like it. Skeletor. Slow the hell down, you... There you go. That's where you belong. On the deck. Hit the deck, fool. Oh, dear. Don't miss with the power attack here. Yikes. Oh! Oh, my God. No, too close. I don't like I don't like the fact that they get enraged. I'm not a fan of that at all. This guy is the tank... Out of all the normal zombies, this guy is the tankiest of the lot. And I hate that guy. Okay. All right. Now maybe, now maybe we get it. We, we have got another skill point to spend, which I think we should probably throw in. I hear it's not. Oh! Yikes! Keep, keep, darling, will you not sneak up on a man when he's busy trying to sort his shit out? For crying out loud, lady. Go away. There we go. Right. Drop me some loot. Give me something good to start with. Well, it's food, it's iron, and it's ammo. Okay, not not great, but not bad. All right, let's get on with this. Now, skill points, back to where we were before we were so rudely interrupted by the zombie. Um, you know what? I hear a skunk. That sounds like ScoMo. Oh, my days. You see what I mean about the zombies? You don't get a moment's peace. Feral Sense will do that to you in this game. 
especially in this mod. You can, you can, it, this, 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 this mod can easily go from, from zero to screw you, dude, in a split freaking second. We're going to be spending an awful lot of time knocking these clowns out. We can't run either because we need to, because we're melee at the moment. We really, really, really need to preserve our family. There we go. Right, Tom, turn, no, give me some damage. Your mama. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Um, as we have a huge multiplier for zombies in cities, um, building in the city, unless you can build yourself, you get yourself in a, in a safe spot right off the bat, you are going to find yourself constantly, constantly fighting zombies if you build in a city. Now, I've recently discovered the beauty, the joy, the wonderful experience that is building in remnants. I do like remnants. I miss my Alpha 19 remnants, I'm not going to lie. Um, Jesus, this spider's a son of a bitch. I hate this guy, by the way. I, I hate him. Oh, God, this needs repairs, right? We have to, we, we're going to have to run away. We've got zombies everywhere here. We're in trouble already. This is not the start that we wanted to this. Right, we've got to scrap this. Scrap it. Hello, quick. Whenever you're ready, game. Quickly, 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 quickly. Where's my wooden club? There it is. Right, let's get a wooden club on the go. All right, that's gone up to level two. We're going to have to remember that. Each time the, each time the club degrades... I'll read that in a minute, but at the moment, it's lag central because I've managed to bring around <laughs> the entire tiles worth of freaking zombies. Holy butt Um, yeah, okay, this could be, um, this is a pretty, um, this, yeah. Oh my days, we've got scomos, we've got bikers, we got everybody here. And this is what we were talking about. This is what I was just trying to say. The point that I was trying to make about not building in cities right off the rip. This is what you'd have to deal with on the regular. You'd, you need to be outside the city tile. You know, we're getting further and further inside the city. I mean, I'm getting further and further inside. I don't like it here. We're going to run away. We're going to let these buggers chase us. We're going to try and see if we can... Uh, Oh my days, what I wouldn't give for a Molotov cocktail right about now. Alright, here we go. Grab those very quickly so we can make us a bone shiv, because the bone shiv could be useful. Recipes, bone knife. Go! Oh! <laughs> Your mama! Leave me the hell alone, ladies. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to go about my business. That's all I want to do. Just go about my business. No doubt, stamina. Oh, yikes. Are we going to have to use our healing already? That can't be good. That can't be good. Right, we're going to have to... Uh, do you know what? We may have to beat a hasty retreat to the trader here. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get here. Let's get our phone shift in here. And let's get some um let's get some bleeding stuff. There we go. Let's get some let's get some knife stuff going. We can slow these suckers down a little bit. Holy fuck. Come on, Steve O, bleed out, bleed out. I should have put that I'm gonna put that point of deep cuts, you know. I'm gonna put that point of deep cuts. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get up here. A little bit of safety. The rock of safety. I'm gonna go to our skill point thing here. It's in agility. It's in deep cuts. It's going in there. And we get some bleeding on the go with our bone shiv. And see if we can clear out. Some of these Muppets. We got far too many of them. Did I just see? What is that? I did. It was a flip. Oh, my God. It's a biker as well. Oh, my days. We're never going to get anywhere near the freaking quest location at this rate. <laughs> we are just surrounded. Completely surrounded by Angry Zed. We have no stamina. Oh my days. This is this is a rough start. This is a rough start. Can we even clear all this away before nightfall? I don't even know. I don't even know. I think we've dragged every single zombie on the entire map to our location. Like every single one of them. 
Right, we might as well. We, we, we're, we're, being, we're being lured away. We're being lured away. We're going to have to go back. Head back towards the POI. So we can actually make a start at. Um, Jesus, Tom's everywhere. There's Steve's everywhere. Oh my god, the farm's full of zombies. What gives? Seriously, game? What gives here? So there you go. If you're gonna if you wanna play, if you wanna try the Winchester mod for yourself, this is what you can expect. Like like walking dead almost levels of zombies. God, they're everywhere. They are everywhere. All right, I'm going to get a, a little bit of this and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Right, a few more bones and, and stuff. Right, there we go. Let's use the fences to our advantage here. Let's use the fences. Insane nightmare permadeath tracks here. Which we do play sometimes. Ay, 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 that's... Okay, now we've got to use healing. Now we've got to use healing. Warrior difficulty freaking hurts, man. It hurts. How the hell am I ever going to be able to make or craft a Molotov cocktail? I'm going to have to loot them, or I'm going to have to... I'm never going to be able to buy one from the trader. I'm never going to be able to buy one from the trader because I don't have any money. But Molotovs is what we need. I mean, seriously, look how many zombies. And it's like... It's, it's going to be like... It's, it's going to be like... Non oh, my God. You can't afford... To miss. You can't afford to miss with the attack cells. You can't afford to miss with them. You haven't got a finite amount of stamina here. Oh my oh my god. Alright, we're gonna have to go back to the club here and clean some of these suckers out. Get them bleeding. Get them hurting. Get them on the floor. Get them the hell away from me. You see how see how much experience is taking before we even level up? I mean, I'm pretty sure if this had been vanilla, we'd have, leveled, we'd, we'd have leveled up a couple of times by now. This is taking a hell of a long time, and there are a million freaking zombies to get rid of here. Oh, my God. I mean, I've, it's not even worth going and standing anywhere safe, simply because we don't have anything... I mean, oh my god, that's a feral. Ho! Oh, holy butt cheeks, that's a feral. Oh my god, that's a feral. Why have we got a feral Arlene on day one? You need to go, lady. Seriously. You need to go. You need to get out of my face. No! <laughs> Um, unfortunately for Hugh's compound, it's not a very good compound for, um, for cheesing the zombies. We can't, we can't kill them very easily through the, uh, through the gaps in the fence. But we did get a level up. We did get a level up. You know, we're, I'm going to have to, right, we're, we're, we're going to have to beat a retreat here. We're going to have to stop in here and lick our wounds. Right, we're going to have to go another point in strength here. Ay, 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 ay. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Can't afford to get hit like that. Else, it's so sloppy. It's so sloppy. God alive! There are so many of them. I don't even know if running away is an option. I don't know if they'll despawn or if they'll follow us. I think we pulled the entire tile. I think we pulled the entire tile. They're still dropping. We, I'm. You know what? We, I'm. I. We need. We need cash. We are going to need cash. We're going to need loot. We can't. I can't spend the entire day out there, murking zombies. We got to get on and do this. And now we're in a city. We're going to have to do this quick. We're gonna have to do this quick now. I know, I know the POI. I know that. that, that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not good. That's not good. Can't keep running out of stamina. 
This is rough in the early game. I'm telling you. This is so rough. This is so rough. All right, Block. Let's see you do this as a freaking no-hit challenge, buddy. Let's see you do this as a no-hit challenge. Oh, my days. There are just... We're never going to get this POI done. There is not a hope in hell of us starting this job and getting it clear. There are just too many zombies around. I think it might be a good idea. I mean, that's a repair kit. The repair kit is very nice. We don't have anything to repair yet. But the repair kit is very nice. Oh, God. Yeah, see, look. This is what I mean about coming into the city. Definitely a bad idea. But how else are we going to get some stuff? I mean, we've... I, I've basically... I'm starting all over again. I've just done a rinse and repeat. All over again. Don't you be feral. I mean, if I get up here, and I get up here, can I use a, Can I use my spear? Oh, I put the spear away. I put the spear away. What a sausage. All right, let's try the old cheese fence trap. Let's see if the old cheese fence trap works. No, it doesn't work, Tom. No, oh, God, and darling, there is, Oh, my God, this is horrible. And we got a nurse out here as well. I mean, we need, we need to clear these zombies away. We need to get rid of them. Because we don't want to be fighting zombies in close proximity. Inside a POI. Where we can get cornered. That would be a bad, 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 bad thing. So this is about the only shot I've got here. Running out of stamina again. Hey, 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 see you dirty rotten. Man, if that happens too much, I'm I'm gonna be toast. If that happens too much, I am gonna be toast. I'm gonna have to leg I'm gonna have to go back again. I'm going to have to leave and go back to the trader again. Unless I can find something, anything, in one of these. That doesn't help me. That really doesn't help me. You know what helps me? A wrench. A wrench is what helps me. A wrench is what helps me. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. I just realised... I can keep my distance and shoot these guys without getting up close. We're going to need another level up. We're going to need another level up. Um, feathers. Recipe, stone arrow, craft, go. All right, let's boogie, baby. I've completely lost where the trader was. Yeah, that's not going to help me. It's going to help me in a pinch. But it's not going to help me right now. I think... I think we might see some daylight. It might be some light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of Zed still. And they just keep on coming at me from all freaking directions here. There's nowhere to hide. We've got to stay hydrated. You know what might help? The coffee. The coffee. Please drink the coffee. Please drink the coffee. Thank you. Oh, my God. I hate it when the game does that. You know what? Let's get a um, recipe bone knife. Let's get another one. On, let's get another one of those ready because this one's about to die. Don't touch me! Oh my god! All right. 
get rid of you. Don't like soldier boy. Ooh. That's a spicy meatball. I completely forgot where the trader is and where all our gear is. Just die. Just die. Bleed out. Bleed out. Damn it. Bleed. Bleed. You know what? This this quest today might be a complete bust. Keep running out of stamina and we're hungry again. I need to get back to the trader. That's where the food was. I need to get back. He's over there. That's all right. That's all right. There's a can of food. There's a can of food in that chest. We're going to need it. And that will help heal a little bit as well. All right. Quick bit of harvesting. Holy butts. Uh, where was the food? Where was the food? There was the food. You know what? Let's get our spear on us as well. Let's get our spear on us too. Keep them at a distance. We might be able to jump up on something high and stab them. Maybe, maybe now we can. Maybe we can run away and they won't follow us. Maybe they'll de-aggro. It's already twenty past seven. We haven't even started this first job yet. This is bad. This is so bad. This is so bad. But we got to get in there. Well, I've got to get in there and get this thing done. And if we get if we get stuck in there, we are screwed. Right, we're starting it. We're in for a penny. We're in for a penny and for a pound. We're going for it. We're going for it. We're going to try not to get hit. We're going to try not to get surrounded in here. It's another level up. Probably need to chuck that in our strength tree again so we can get another point in pummel feet or another point in section reps. As far as loot goes, I'll loot it again in the morning. Nothing in here. We're going to get surrounded by freaking Zed if we're not careful. They break their way in, we can't get out, and we are going to be absolutely, completely and utterly buggered. Right, I've got to get rid of Tom. Tom, you got to go, fella. you got to go, fella. Okay. Last zombies are on the roof. We can do, we got time for do a little bit of loot in here. You never know, we might find something to drink. Something to drink, something to eat, something to heal with. Something, 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 anything. Uh, you know what? We're going to get rid of this. Actually, we'll take the candle. We'll get rid of the box. That gives us a nice, safe spot where we can hide out the night on the roof. The zombies can't get up here, no matter how many we are, no matter how many we attract. Which means that if we're up here for the night, we should be safe. As long as we don't get hit, we can't afford to take too much more damage. Can't afford to take too much more damage. Oh, that's so close. Okay, all right. Something we can heal with, please. No, steroids don't help me. But the bandages do. That bone shiv does. Nice. We are up. No! 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 I scrapped the wrong one! I scrapped! Oh my god! No! I scrapped the wrong one! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck my life! I scrapped the wrong one! All right, a couple of schematics that we can read, and that is about it. I'm absolutely terrified of going back to the trader now. Absolutely freaking terrified. So, I don't really want to spend the night in the city. But having said that, I know that I'm safe up here. I know they can't get up here. And if I know they can't get up here, then there's no reason for me to leave. 
So that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait out the night right here. We're going to go back and we're going to see the trailer tomorrow. Um, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to call it for this episode. We managed to get in our first game day, we managed to get one quest completed. Just one whole quest. We've got loot outside the trailer that we're going to have to move. We've got an, I've got an idea of where I want to put a base, but honestly, I've forgotten just how busy the cities can get around here i'm thinking that we might we, at some point we're gonna have to build somewhere outside the city otherwise we're just gonna get overrun it was it's just gonna be zombies 24 7 we're never gonna get anything done um can't do any cooking or, we haven't got any food yet but we're, we're we're in slightly better shape than we were to start with. slightly better shape than we were to start with let's just get rid of all the stuff that we're sure to not need so let's uh let's just chuck that away there we'll sort that out tomorrow we'll, or we'll sort that out overnight and I'll come back and we'll finish this off tomorrow. So there we go. That is the end of episode one. I hope you made it all the way to the end. If you did, um, give us a thumbs up. Drop us a comment down below. Um, believe me, it really, 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 really does help. If you've enjoyed the content as well, please consider hitting that subscribe button for more content like this. This is going to be an ongoing series. We're going to keep going with this. Um, we're going to see how far we can get. It's a lot of fun so far. I'm enjoying it. I hope you are too. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, remember, be good. If you can't be good, be good at it. I've been Hell's Janitor. This has been Seven Days to Die. You guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will hopefully see you in the next episode. Thank you.